Well, March Madness is still a little ways away. But another tournament is now taking nominations starting today. Get ready for Maker's Madness. The Illinois Manufacturers Association wants to find the coolest thing made in Illinois, and it's using a bracket-style tournament to do that. And the IMA wants you to vote on your favorite products to find the best in the state. And whether it's your favorite food or beverage or vehicle, um, cool is in the eye of the beholder. And we have a lot of great products made right here in Illinois that we need to celebrate. And we all know this region is a manufacturing hub, so we will keep an eye out on any local products. The IMA will accept nominations until February 14th. Voting starts the 17th with the winner announced March 24th. And this is the second year of Maker's Madness, so we had to look up last year's winner. James, here some fun trivia. What was 2020's coolest thing made in Illinois? So I'll be honest, I peeked at the script already. I I'm not going to guess what it was because that would be cheating. But once they said things like food or drink, Mrs. Fisher's chips, Old Salties, there are so many good foods made in our area, but that's not the winner from last yeah, year. Yeah, typical journalists. We have to know the answers to everything, right? And look <laughs> ahead. Well, the winner was the Caterpillar 797 F large mining cool. truck. It's a huge truck. It's made in Decatur. It is the world's largest mechanical truck, standing at over 23 feet tall on six 13 foot tires, and it can haul 400 tons of product that might be hard to compete with for this year. Yeah, and I was thinking of things that have been made in Illinois, the sock monkey on top of that, but right. it, it's things that are currently made, correct? That is correct, right. And I, I saw, we were showing them the video there, they had that caramel and cheese corn. I mm -hmm. think you can buy it at Costco. That stuff's addictive. So I don't know where that's made in Illinois, but that could be a huge contender. <laughs> Sounds like a road trip for Kristen Crowley to find some of that. Let's get a check of the forecast now with, Chief Meteor or with meteorologist Tommy Owens in for Chief Meteorologist Alex Kirshner.